Hey guys, so if you want to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. If you want to follow me on Instagram and look at my Amazon storefront, I will leave everything linked down below in the description box. So as you can tell, my mood is not very hyper. I'm not, like, I'm just so tired. I want to go to bed, but I can't go to bed because I just basically slept all day. So because of that, I thought, why not film a video because I'm bored and why try to get updated with my schedule of filming videos um, so that I don't have to worry about it when the time comes. So this video was going to be a completely different one, but turns out I just ended up like ranting like, for 10 minutes straight about <laughs> vaccines and this isn't like a type of video of like, don't go get your vaccines, do get your vaccines. It's more of like, Again, from the title, um, I, why I can't, like, get vaccines anymore is because my body does not react to it well. Like, let me tell you, I'm not being dramatic. It does not. Like, I go down, meaning I stay in bed for, like, two days, and I don't feel good. And I, I, I don't know why. It's some part of my, like, illness, and just, I used to do, be completely fine with sending the vaccine shots when I was like younger and I was in school and you know all your vaccines that you need to be updated and stuff I used to be able to do that perfectly fine you know maybe like not feel good because like it's my arm and I hate shots and I'm a giant baby when it comes to that but like I was never the type of person to like stay in bed for like two days and just like sleep and not feel good so when I stopped going to school in 2014, obviously, I didn't need to take, like, the flu shot every single year because I wasn't in school. So I stopped that. And then, um, I think it maybe it was 2020 or 2021, um, during the height of pandemic, we decided to get me a flu shot because why not? I haven't had one in years. And let me tell you, that reaction was not good. Um, I, I don't think my arm blew up like, really badly, um, but it definitely was not good. Um, no, like, bad bruising, no, like, purpleness. It was just, like, a little, like, big, and it hurt a little bit, like, for quite a while. Maybe, like, a week or so. Um, so, obviously, not a good thing for me. And for the two days, I literally just stayed in bed. I did not feel good. I was very sleepy. And not like, oh, like, I am I have, like, a cold type of sleeping thing. It was just me, like, perfectly fine. I wasn't sick. I had no sniffles, no cough, no, like, anything. I was just really tired, and I did not feel good. So, that's one instance. And here's the second instance where this one's, like, really bad uh, because... Um, I think it was maybe it was 2022 or 2023. Um, I think it might have been 2022. Honestly, I kind of forgot. I had to get at my yearly checkup that I do every year. I had to get the vaccine. I believe it was he for hepatitis B. And it's like in two doses you have to do. Do one and then wait a while and then come back for the second dosage. I didn't get both of them. I just got the first one. And so because of that, like, I was fine. And then my arm blew up, like, right here. Like, the, where the injection site was, it became, like, a ball. Um, not a super giant ball, but, like, maybe, like, a super, like, that size. Um, It was pretty dang big on me, honestly. It, it was really big, and it stayed like that for, like, maybe like a month and it went down very 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 slowly like it was giant enormous it felt like for like forever when reality wasn't so it's was probably like big for maybe like a week and then it got really small not really small it got smaller shortly very small um it took forever for it to officially go away so it went down in size and then eventually you know it went down even more and then it got to the point it was just like this little itty bitty bump and it literally looked like as if i had like a tiny 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 like pimple uh when i say tiny i don't mean sorry what am i thinking a pimple sorry a pimple is tinier than what i was experiencing oh my gosh my brain's not working 
So it was like, <coughs> it was like basically a cyst and it was like probably like that size. And it was like that on my arm, like literally for the rest of the time. And it took like weeks for it to like officially go down. I think it was like in the second month is when it finally got like it was dying but like I still could feel it when I would touch my arm I could still feel that like little bump there it wasn't completely flat I think until like maybe the third month is when it finally like officially went away I when I would touch this area of my arm I didn't feel where that like bump where it used to be so it took a while and so now we learned that I can't handle that just because for some stupid ass reason and now it's kind of annoying because i don't know what i'm supposed to do with my tetanus shot that i don't know if it's supposed to be coming up or if it was past that time and i just like never took it i don't know i asked my mom about this and she said as long as i'm not stepping on a rusty old nail i'm good but um I don't know because I I wonder about this since like I don't react well with like flu shot and like the hepatitis B vaccine and any of the vaccines that I'm supposed to be getting typically as I get older um I can't handle that so I'm not gonna be that person I think I don't know what the terminology is I think it's like anti not an anti vaxxer but like an anti like I'm in the herd over I I'm, I can't get it. I can't get the vaccine because my immune system just doesn't work well. And so because of that, um, I have no idea what's going to happen. And I will say I did get the COVID shot. I did not get the COVID boosters. I just got the two first shots that I was supposed to get with the COVID. COVID um, I did fine. Like, you know, I had no bad reaction to it. My dad and my mom ended up getting the reaction to it. Um, like no, like no swelling in the arm. I did perfectly fine. I was just like more tired, and the fact like I'm that happened to me, I was very lucky because we were expecting way worse for me. Because with immune compromised people, like if, I guess if you get the vaccine shot, maybe, um, that, or maybe not immune compromised in general people. Sorry, my brains. Um, uh, don't call me in that. It's because, um, just, like, they ended up feeling so sick. They felt, like, really bad. It's kind of the whole thing where if you get a flu shot and you ended up feeling, you end up, like, getting the flu while having the vaccine. Um, I still don't understand that whole process of where, like, a lot of people say is you might have the uh, flu before you end up getting the flu shot. And it just, it always makes you seem like you have gotten the flu because of your shot that you took um i don't know if that's considered the same thing with the covid shot and the booster shots but um yeah like i did perfectly fine my mom and my dad ended up getting like the covid boosters you know um i don't know if my dad recently got the latest one uh but I know for a fact my mom hasn't gone back for the second and the third and the fourth booster shot you're supposed to get. Um, I don't know if you're really supposed to get it, but they maybe want you to. I don't know. But I only got COVID one time and, you know, I had no big reaction to it. Shockingly, really surprised. My sister, my older sister had the worst reaction to it. She felt so bad. And I'm like, oh, she has COVID now again. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so bad. Um, so because of that, now we've learned that I don't do well with vaccine shots and I should just not take them. This is not an anti-vaxxer thing. This isn't like a pro-vaxxing thing. It's just for me and my body. I know that I can't handle it. Like it does not work well with my body. My doctor also told me you should not do that anymore because we you know it doesn't work. And we just don't want me to like make, we don't want me to feel bad and worse her off and have this giant reaction to a needle being injected inside me like that like giant balloon arm literally i wonder what if what would have happened if i got the second dose of the hepatitis b if it would have 
been a lot worse and or if I would have had that big bump there a lot longer than like maybe a month or two basically even though it went down in size it was still there and I could still feel it and it took a long last time to officially go away let me tell you it felt like I was just gonna have that like permanently stuck on me so I'm gonna end this video today and I'll see you guys next week bye guys